friends, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 15 of my 2017 holiday card series. Today I'm using this stamp set from Waffle Flower called The Season as well as the Milk and Cookies 6x6 paper pad from Doodlebug. I've stamped my images on Bristol Smooth Surface cardstock with VersaFine Onyx Black ink and then I heat emboss that with clear embossing powder so that I have a nice raised shiny line. And I've got all my supplies off to the side. I've got my water well, my paint brushes, and a paper towel in case I need to dry them off. I'm starting with number 070 flesh color to color in my little Mer Santa skin. So I'm just giving him an all over wash of that on his face and arms and belly. And then I will take number 064 oatmeal and just give him a little bit of shading around the edge of his face and kind of under his arms and under his beard and then down the right side of his body. And then I will take my number two round silver black velvet brush and I'm going to just blend that out with a little bit of water. Then I'm taking number 022 carmine red and I'm going to do the stripes on the Santa's hat and then the two little Santa hats that are on the fish. And I'm just going to add a little bit of color to the right hand side of those or on the left hand side of the fish that's facing right. So I'm doing it in the opposite direction of the way that they're facing and just blending those out a bit. I'm giving him some rosy cheeks with 026 light pink so that he looks nice and jolly. And then I'm going back to my 022 Carmine Red to color in all my candy canes, the bow on one of the gifts, the stripes on one of the gifts, and then the third gift is going to be solid red. And each time I'm just working in small little areas, doing two or three things at a time, and then blending out with the water immediately after. This paper has a vellum coated surface, so it makes it really nice and easy to move the pigment around on, but you don't want to let it saturate in too deep before you start to move it or it'll be stuck there. So that's why I'm just doing a few things at a time. So now I've moved on to the little Christmas ornaments and I just colored those down on the right hand side and then I'll leave the left hand side for the highlight. So this was actually the very first stamp set that I bought for the holiday card series this year. As soon as I saw it, I knew it was going to be perfect for my younger brother and his family. He is a diving instructor and is a big burly guy with a beard and he just loves everything nautical and his whole family does too. So I just knew this was going to be absolutely perfect for them. And, um, and unfortunately, this is going to be my last card this year because I just ran out of time. By the time this goes live, it'll be Christmas Eve. And um, unfortunately, I didn't get through all the sets that I wanted to use, but I'll just have to save them for next year. I used number 091 Light Gray to color in Santa's beard and the white stripes on his hat and the little stingray. Which, by the way, my family and I were just in Toronto at Ripley's Aquarium, and oh my gosh, it was so amazing. We are a fish-loving family, um, but the stingrays were just like little puppy dogs. They would follow you around on the glass, and we even got to pet them. It was so cool. The whole place was just amazing. If you ever get a chance to go, I highly recommend it. I started out coloring the coral Christmas tree with 043 olive green. I didn't like it very much though. I thought it was too dark and too muted for the bright coloring that I wanted to do on this card. So I switched to the 041 light green and then I added a bit more water than I did to any of the other sections on the card just to kind of get that pigment kind of flowing again. And I even sopped some of it up with a paper towel just to lift some of that darkness up and I was much happier with that result. So now I'm moving on to my fish over here and I'm going to color his body and then some of the fins I'm going to color green as well. I'm going to do kind of a striped effect. And then I'm going to go down to the mermaid's tail and I'm also going to do every other section just to kind of mimic the stripes on his hat and then also how I'm going to color all the fish. 
So I'll just take some clean, clear water and add it to the opposite end and then gradually come towards the color so that it kind of seeps across and fills in, but you get those natural lights and dark areas. And I'll also use that 041 light green to add some details to my seahorse. I'll color the stripes on my gift over here, the same light gray that I used for the Santa's beard and the stingray. And the 041 light green for the bow on the present. I'm going to bring in 050 yellow for the star on the coral and the fish. And then I'm also going to use that same color to color in the stripes and the face on the fish in the top right corner. I'm taking 042 turquoise green to finish off the Santa Merman's tail. And then I will also use that color to add the stripes to my green fish and his face and then some of his fins as well. I'm also going to color in my little seahorse with that same shade. These are also one of my favorite uh, sea creatures at the aquarium. They're just so fascinating to watch. For the last fish in the top right corner, I'm going back to my 022 Carmine Red, just adding a bit of color down on the bottom and then blending upward for the highlight. And I colored some of his fins red as well. Going down to my treasure chest, I'm using number 065 Mid Brown, just coloring down towards the bottom and then just carefully around the outside edge of the gifts. And then I'll just blend that out with a little more water. And I am allowing a little drying time in between each section, but having that embossing powder and that raised line that it provides really helps the color to stay inside the lines. So you don't have to worry about touching into the red and having it bleed all over the place or anything like that. So I'm just finishing up the last remaining details. I colored in the stripe on the box with the green and also the present. I'm using 036 light blue to shade in the inside of the seashell that the merman is sitting in. The outside is the 091 light gray that we used earlier. I'll give the stingray a little red bow on his tail. And then finally I'll go back to the 050 yellow to add the buckles to the treasure chest and then also the little band that goes around the outside edge. And now that these are all done, I'll just set them aside to dry. For our background, I'm taking three colors of Distress Ink. It's Antique Linen, Tumbled Glass, and Cracked Pistachio. And I'm going to rub them onto a sandwich bag. This is a technique that my good friend Carrie Webster taught me. She is KW Card Design here on YouTube. And I'm going to give it a good spritz with my Distress Sprayer and then press that down into the paper. Give it a little bit of time to transfer. I'll tap that down a few times to get some different colors in different places and then I'll blast that with my heat gun until it's dry. And while I had that heat gun out, I went ahead and added my sentiment. I just stamped that with VersaFine Onyx Black ink and then heat embossed that to match the images. I'm going to set my Santa Merman down on the card base just to kind of figure out where I want the placement of everything else to go. I'm adding some images with some Scotch 3M foam tape and others I'm gluing flat down to the card with some Tombow Mono Multi Glue just to have some variety of dimension. So I added the Coral Christmas Tree and the Stingray down flat. I'm also going to add the Seahorse the same way. And then I'm popping up the Treasure Chest and the Green Fish. And then the Yellow Fish will also be adhered flat to the card. For the Santa Merman, I'm actually going to take one of these mini action wobblers. I've never used these on a card before, and I thought this was a perfect opportunity to try one out. My brother has a six-year-old son, and I think my nephew is really going to get a kick out of this. So I'm just peeling off the paper backing that covers the adhesive on both sides, 
and then I took the back of it and stuck it down to the Santa and then just lined that up on my card where I wanted him to go and then pressed him down firmly into place. And there you can see him in action. So fun. I'm definitely going to be using more of these action wobblers on cards in the future. So for my card base, I've got a piece of Lawn Fawn Mermaid ink, and I'm taking a sentiment from the Paper Smooches Christmas Sampler, and I'm stamping that down in Merman ink. I thought that was quite fitting considering our card today. And the sentiment says, let's be merry. And then I'm going to take the extra fish that did not fit on the front of the card, and I'm going to glue that down right over top of the sentiment, so it'll add a nice pop of color to the inside. I'm going to lay down a bead of glue on the right hand side of our card and then add our pattern paper down the side. That red and white stripe is going to tie in really nicely with our Santa's hat and also with the candy canes and other decorations on our card. I added some Scotch 3M foam tape to the back of the focal panel so I'll just line that up nice and straight and press that down into place. And that is going to complete our card for today. I decided not to add any additional embellishment since it is going to my brother. I wanted to keep it a little bit more on the masculine side. And there's one last look at that action wobbler. I think that's super fun. It looks like he's putting a star on the coral Christmas tree there. So that completes my holiday card series for 2017. I want to thank you guys so much for your support this year. You've been amazing. If you enjoyed this video or this series, please give this one a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I have so much more great content planned for 2018. You won't want to miss it. Here's two more videos from last year's holiday card series. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.